After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethphage and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go ahead to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Say, the Lord needs it. Those that were sent ahead went and found it, just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? They replied, the Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks on the colt, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Hosanna! 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 Hosanna. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. I don't know about you, but that passage that was just read reminds me of one of the biblical events that I would probably most want to be a part of. I can't imagine the anticipation and the excitement that people held as they awaited Jesus into Jerusalem. They had been hearing the stories of how he had healed the sick, fed the multitudes, and he was finally coming. I can't help to think about how much I would today like to be gathering with all of you with that same excitement after being separated for so long to be able to gather to worship. But the fact is we're still separated. But the need for us to welcome our Savior into our homes, into our community, into this world, and into our daily lives is the same. I pray as we worship together today that you would be reminded that we can welcome Christ into our lives and into our homes every single day. We should be excited as we look forward to all He has done and all He will continue to do. We can praise him knowing he is in charge and that he has done miracles before and he is in the process of doing a miracle now. Would you pray with me? Father God, we gather today in our homes all over the world ready to praise your name and celebrate the goodness of who you are. God, just as people gathered singing, Hosanna, blessed is the name of the Lord all those years ago. God, from our homes, we say, blessed is the name of the Lord, and we welcome you here today. God, may you be praised in all that we say and all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's worship together. <laughs> 